Don Peoples did, but let's talk about it. So, man, we got to get into my man Mystical and this whole situation with him being caught up now on his third rape charge. Now, man, this is a serious situation. Obviously, this this screams sexual predator. This screams a lot of different things, but it kind of make me wonder, man, because in this wicked industry that we in, we don't know sometimes if things are just a coincidence or if things are just by circumstance. Like, now, I don't know Mystical's past like that. Obviously, I know they hit him with some numbers with the last situation he got caught up in when it was like a gangbang situation. I mean, you know, I look at Mystical, you know, one of my favorite 90s artists from the No Limit era. You know what I'm saying? I mean, had a lot of classic hits. Danger. And just just a lot of different shit. You know, unpredictable. Um, Kettle Star trying to make it. I mean, I, I can just name a lot, man, that I had personal favorites of. But this kind of touched me because I was like, yo, like, I know my man wouldn't set himself up and put himself in this type of situation. Now, you know, they're saying that, you know, it was a stranglehold type shit. I mean, I don't understand somebody who has multiple platinum plaques. You know what I'm saying? Um, is in a situation where you're still touring with Master P to, you know, packed out arenas when you do your No Limit reunion tours. Like, people still rock with Mystical. So, I don't understand why you got to take the boo. It just doesn't make sense to me when I look at it. So, I wonder, like, did Mystical pay his dues? We understand that he went through the door. You know, Mystical was a major artist at one point in time, a superstar. Is this part of him not paying his dues? Because, you know, it makes you wonder, man, like how they just setting these brothers up. And, you know, for him to keep running back into the same trap of dealing with, you know, rape and taking you know, from women, you know. And it makes you have to question people like Master P and, you know, Birdman because, you would kind of know if your man was a, a a sexual predator, if he had problems putting his hands on women. Like you would kind of understand that part. So, and you would you would you would either get him help or you wouldn't deal with him because you wouldn't want your brand attached to it. And I just kind of find it funny that none of this type of stuff was coming up back then. And you know, we shouldn't hold them liable or, or question their decision making. Um, when they was dealing with him and rocking with him. You know what I'm saying? Even though you can't control what a man does in the bedroom, I get it, or we hear away from y'all. But, you know, you you employed and empowered um, a predator. You know what I'm saying? So this is something that we got to question when we, when we think of them and their leadership. Because, you know, I can't really say if Mystical is really on that type of time because I really understand how wicked the industry is and how the industry just defames and destroys a lot of our black men, especially when they have no use for you. And they play on your habits. Like Mystical might have had a problem with women, but this is something that they keep highlighting because they know this is believable to the public. Just like with DMX and his drug problems, obviously, they never would say it's nothing else. They always stuck to the drugs with DMX. Same thing with Michael Jackson, you know, sticking with the children and never really deviating from that uh, and years to find, you know, come to find out years later, you know, kids coming out saying that they were paid to do that stuff. And, you know, it, it, it's crazy, man, because they'll take your, your demons and magnify them to the point where every time you get out of line, they spank you with that. I really have it hard, you know, just to really fathom that this man would now put himself in a three strike dealing with, you know, another woman. So I, I'm going to reserve, you know, pointing the fingers, calling him all these names. Like a lot of people are blasting him on, you know, social media. I'm going to hold back from all that. You know, I'm going to see how this thing plays out. You know, um, if anything, we need to be praying for this brother, man, because this is one of our legends right here. You know, let's not forget Mystical was and is a legend. And, you know, we got to give him his proper respect now. If it comes to find out that, you know, there's everything I'm saying, look, there's no foul play. The industry ain't behind it. The devils, the evils, they ain't behind it. He just really got a problem. You know, then that, that's something, you know, I want to hear some close family members, uh, somebody who might know to really speak up 
on this man's, you know, character, man, because you ain't really had no women really come out and, and, and say anything about mystical or whatever the case may be. So, you know, I, I really want to know really who is mystical because, you know, we got to ask these questions, man. Is my man being set up for the Opie or is he really a sexual predator? I want y'all to get in the comment box, man, and let me know what y'all think, man. Do y'all feel, like I said, is Mystical have a problem? Is he been out here, this is his MO, raping women? Or do y'all feel like this might be like a setup, man, that they really just trying to get this man out of here? I want to hear y'all opinion on it, though, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification tab so y'all can tap in every time I drop a video. It's your boy, Don Peoples. Dead boat. Gone.